do you know architecture has its own language the noblest of the professions in the world architecture is the art of practicing design and constructing buildings to practice this art you should know the basic terminologies and vocabularies used memorizing and understanding these words will surely help you build a creative skill in your language Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shall we begin? Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. I am I, Muhammad Ibrahim, Architecture and Interior Design Projects. Since you have been watching my videos on different topics, in this video we would be understanding the architectural terminologies used in architectural language. So let us start the show. Architectural terminology, abacus. It is the slab forming the croning member of the capital. For example, abutment. This is the masonry support that touches and directly receives pressure or thrust or pressure of a bridge or an arc. For example, Access. It is the area by which vehicles and persons enter and leave a premises. For example, accessible, capable of being reached easily. For example, Acropolis. It is the high and fortified part of an ancient Greek city. For example, adaptable design, the accessible features which can change the appearance and use of any design. Arator, it is a device screwed into the end of faucet spout that mixes air into flowing water and controls flow to reduce splashing. For example, Amphitheater it is an oval or round building with tiers of seats around a central open area as used in ancient Rome. Amphitheater was used for games, contests, etc. For example, Arcade it is an open or closed series of arches supported by columns used along passageways, courtyards or porches. For example, Arc or Arch. It is the curved masonry construction for spanning an opening consisting of a number of wedge-like bricks or stones. For example, Architrave. It is the molded frame around the door or window opening. For example, Artisan. An individual who is a creator. Asymmetric when the elements are positioned off-center of one another, they are called asymmetric. For example, Ashlar Masonry, it is a rock-faced brick. For example, Attis, an accessible space within the roof of a house. For example, Awning, 
This is a roof-like covering to shelter people or protect parts of a building from the effects of rain or sun. For example, balance, well proportioned or equally distributed arrangement of various elements. For example, balcony. This is a slab over any floor projecting from the wall of a building enclosed with a railing. Baluster. It is a part of a balustrade and is a small column or little round short pillar. For example, balustrade. It consists of handrail supported by balusters. For example, barrier free where no excess limitations of any individual. Bay window. It is a projecting bay with windows that form an extension of the interior floor space. It is composed of three windows joined together at an angle to each other, projecting out from the exterior wall. For example, Bracket. It is a small projection, generally decorated, that supports or appears to support a projecting lintel or slab. For example, Barrel Vault. It is a series of pressed together arches. There are heavy and enormous pressures or thrust downwards and outward. For example, Basilica. This is the long halls serving a variety of civic purposes and activities. Began in Greece, they became standard in every Roman town for courts of law. For example, Baton. It is a small timber member fixed between longer stud members to improve structural adequacy. For example, Beam. It is the structural horizontal member which supports vertical loads of wall or slab. For example, Bed Joint. It is the horizontal layer or mortar on which brick or other masonry is placed. For example, Benchmark. It is a point of known elevation or reduced level. Beveled Glass. It is custom or machine made individual panel of glass with a decorative edge which is polished at an angle. For example, Bill of Quantities. This is the document prepared by contractor detailing estimate of the materials, labor fixtures and fittings for a particular project. For example, Bollard. This is a solid structure placed vertically and usually up to 1 meter in height. It is used as a barrier to stop vehicles from entering. For example, Buttress. It is a have added vertical part of a Gothic or Romanesque cathedral that contains the outward pressure of walls. For example,
CAD it is computer aided design and drafting for example canopy For example, cantilever. It is a beam projecting from a wall and is fixed only at one end. For example, this video would be slightly longer in comparison to other videos because I would be giving some examples to make you understand these architectural terminologies. So stay tuned for watching this whole video till the end and gaining the architectural skills in your language. So guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and if you are new visitor to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for getting the new updates whenever I post a new video. And if you want to leave a comment, you can leave the comment in the comment section box below and don't forget to share it with your colleagues and friends. Chalo guys, take care, bye.